So they're actually doing a hollow one today, no center spot, but they normally use a stencil, which makes a lot of sense. family's still asleep. I just made some popsicles for my son. And this, you'll find out in a, in a few seconds, is gonna play a part in today. I think, for the TikTok story. Ooh. <laughs> that was a good one, yeah! All the gates are locked. Uh... Hi, I was here to... Wait, I was here to... Meet with Casey and John from the Grand Screw. Uh, well, they on the on the opposite side. So not, not to follow the instructions I was given. I'm here. Uh, I guess I'm going here, somewhere. I don't know. Let's find out. A fear I have when I come and do something like this, where I'm using someone else's time, is that I don't make the most of it. But the ridiculous thing is that. I have full confidence in myself and what I'll shoot and how I can share the story of what I want. So I shouldn't have that feeling anyway. Why do I have that feeling? I think it comes from the fact that I make 90% of the videos with just me and so I can make adjustments and tweak it and do what I want. But when I'm utilizing someone else's time for the major value of the content, I wanna make sure that I'm providing value to them and making things useful for them. We'll see how that goes. So I don't really know what to expect. All I know is that they have a game tomorrow and I'm following the grounds crew around to try and get an understanding of what they do to get ready for a pro soccer match. I have a little something in my bag that I would just tell you about. I'm not trying to eat and gatekeep it, but I think it would be more entertaining, more interesting when the time comes to bring it out. Oh, the grass. Very nice indeed. Oh yeah. The obligatory. Nope. Hey, how you doing? I'm sorry, I'm staying in. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, I'm John. John, nice to meet you. How's Oliver. You well, thank you. I'm just grab my camera. How you doing, man? How's your morning? Yeah, I'm well, thank you very much. Uh, just as we were talking, I just want to be able to capture this bit of like what your plan is for today. We're going to be mowing here okay. and then do a roll on it to firm up the, the surface and then we'll, we'll paint the lines. Is this measuring the length of the grass? Yeah, so if you want to take a look Yeah, do you mind it. if I... Thank you. So, shows us where, where the growth the, is on the three quarters of an inch. Oh, I see. Using the reflection to gather the... Yeah, so you can see. So... If it's a, about 0.75 just over, where do you guys want it at? Yeah, so we're, we're mowing probably like 0.6875. Gosh, you're taking, yeah, like barely anything off. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so, thank you for showing me. A stupid question, okay? When I mow in my yard, which is straight crab grass, okay? So you know how much I know about grass. Obviously the wheels push the grass down. What are you guys doing when the wheels push the grass down? Are you just coming back the other way across the wheel line? Uh, the reels will, will cut it, and then the roller will lay it down. So, uh, so do you cut in front of the wheels? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that yeah. counts for that then. All right. Tufts, like this tuft here, yeah. and a few of these tufts. <laughs> what is, what's that? Yeah, I try not to show that as much. Okay. <laughs> we got, is that just? It's uh, parts of ryegrass coming up. Right. So. Because you have <laughs> a, a special blend, don't you? Yeah, for so this grass. What we have is Northridge Bermuda. Uh, Northridge and Bermuda. It, it kind of works out. It's more cool tolerant. Okay. Uh, and so it works out for us. It's more what tolerant, sorry? Cold tolerant. Cold tolerant, oh, okay. So, so you essentially have two, two types of grass in here, rye and one and, and, Bermuda, and yeah. Bermuda, and so, that makes Northridge Bermuda? No, Northridge is a variety of Bermuda. Okay. Rye grass is a cool season grass. So you're uh, switching the grass type depending on the time of year? Yeah. Or just like switch. adding yeah, so rye like, into the north so route.
John's been giving a tour around. We have three main jobs for today. We're gonna mow, roll the grass, and then paint the grass, which I'm very excited for. But the science behind all this stuff is far beyond what I expected. So I just went behind the scenes, looked at the heating that goes on for the field to keep it at 75 degrees year round. 720 ribbons. So the ribbons are, I'll just show you. So basically down on the bottom left, we can set what temperature we want them at. To get it to the right temperature, taking off about five eighths of an inch right now. Not even that, 0.625 of an inch. Oh, here's an interesting fact. This grass just here, how, thick do you think this actually is? I thought this was just wafer thick. That's not even a thickness, is it? This is two inches thick grass. And at different times of the year, they can control if it grows up or out with chemicals. What? I'm gonna try and get some cinematic shots of John mowing the grass here, just taking off tiny little bits. Yeah, my goal, I think for this is that I don't is that I don't get cut. Also, crazy experience to be like pitch side of a professional sports team, just making a video, doing this. If you don't ask, you don't get in life. I pushed for this. I pushed really hard, just like this morning when I was on the toilet. Oliver cut that so it's not so gross. See, this is something that I have no comprehension of. All he's done so far is this section, okay? And he's already filled up his canisters, whatever, canisters, whatever they're called. But I wanna show you how fine this grass looks. I don't know how well you can see the difference, but this has been cut, this has not been cut. There's a slight lip just here. Here he is. I imagine he's coming to collect the grass. Right. I'm gonna watch how he does this first. Just slotting in. Okay. All right, nice and easy. So just look at how nicely lined up this is. So this is cut not cut. I want to get a shot just super close to the cut being, to the grass being cut. I think this is my time. So he's actually skips over. So he'll come down here and then he'll turn around and come up here. I'm afraid I tipped a little bit out. Oh, no, yes, I messed up here. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Quick, quick, <laughs> get rid of the evidence. So he's vacuuming up. All of you reprobates that throw stuff down here, he's just vacuuming it up. So much grass has come off. And it's so fine. At least. Yeah, you're right, it was. All right, so we'll send him back out again then, get the stragglers. <laughs> Are these the covers for the field? It's hard to like comprehend just how much material is used for something like that, because I could just don't understand yeah, so... the scale of it. And um, would you say we're going to take a dump? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <don't... all> right. <laughs> <laughs> But I get a shot like that, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing getting a shot of just dumping grass? <laughs> yeah. So 360 lights, and you just sit these over the top of the field. How much water, when you water the grass, I know it probably varies, but each time you would water it, yeah. how many gallons do you think you're using? 20,000 gallons, bloody hell, for really about 10 minutes. So five minutes and then 10 minutes yeah. to cover a field. 20,000 gallons, bloody hell. Yeah. That's so much yeah. water. So what are we up to here? Oh, these are the rollers. Yeah, the rollers. Okay, it's amazing if I just 
open my eyes and look. I thought we were going to be watering or something. Can I go in the back? I know I'm pushing boundaries. I know, like, please say no if you're not comfortable with something. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll just be sat in there for 10 minutes. <laughs> no. Nah, it's all good. Thanks. The grass is good. Oh. Lovely jubbly. We're rolling the field. So I think my understanding of what you're explaining is like as uh, the soil absorbs and the grass, like uh, let's say absorbs water, it expands. And so that this is compressing what yeah, expanded. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I've got a ball to play on the field after. I know, but I don't mess up their lines. But I think we're painting now. What mix are we working with today on the paint? It's a 50-50. 50-50? The, uh, the OCD is looking forward to seeing these straight lines. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't shown you really not much to them. And when you look across the field from the shot earlier, you just don't see much of the lines. So they had an NFL game. That no, wasn't an NFL game. It was, they had a college football game here. So University of Kansas, the Kansas Jayhawks. So they had to, use a really light paint, so like a 80% water, 20% paint on the lines, like all of the lines up the side for a football field so that they could easily be washed off after the game. And they used a, like a low pressure, pressure washer to wash the paint off. But as they transition back to football, soccer, we've got to get these lines sorted. So it's going to be too loud. I'll just do some cinematic shots. I uh, got my camera covered in paint splatters for that other shot. I'm curious now, how do they do the center spot? Because that's just a flat head that sprays. Let's go find out. It's amazing to see all my fans in the stand. Stands coming out for me. Hi guys. Before I do this last bit, I want to share something I've learned today. It's I asked for two things that I didn't expect to get. Driving the, the Gator thing and what was the other thing? Sitting in the back of the gator? They're not big things, but me a week ago wouldn't have asked for that. I've just been like, oh, you're kind of making things awkward for them. Don't ask for that. This is something I told you that I was gonna try and work on and I'm working on it. I don't know, there's, there's a part of me that's like, that's good for you. I don't know where you are at in life, but it's good for you to see someone saying they're gonna work on something and then working on it and it's really not that difficult. It's just a change of mindset. And so if there's something you want to work on, you go and work on it. It's just a slight change of mindset. Let's go do this, honey. In solidarity of today, I brought green juice. Oh, cold press, it's not cold anymore. It's warm because I forgot about this. Just give it a quick shake first. Completely forgot about this. This was meant to be my offering. I think this is it. I think this is time. We're doing the middle bit of the field. Middle bit of the field. Center spot. Also, I'm crossing over these lines and I'm mindful not to touch them. Why am I, did I naturally just step like this? Why, why wouldn't I just normal step? That's not even a normal step. Normal step. Interesting. So they stopped a little bit off to the side. So they're actually doing a hollow one today, no center spot, but they normally use a stencil, which makes a lot of sense. I almost bloody missed it, but we got the girls coming out now. Cross the field, I feel bad, like walking across the field, but I want, I need to get this shot. And that's, that's my reasoning to get the shot. So it looks like they fold up in the middle. That's weird, but I want to see this stretch out across the goal. You know, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the gator spreads this grass and they said it's hard to actually keep the gator straight going across because the Bermuda grass like shifts underneath. Look at my feet as I step. I don't know. 
how easy that is to see, but the feel, the texture of it feels like your foot is sliding around as it settles. Got the penalty spot to do. So here's our stencil. Now this is my kind of artwork. Anything more than this and I can't do it. <laughs> is it always? Is it always hollow? You just, that, that's another artistic choice. I like it. I like that. I like these choices. Mile an hour. Like it should be like... <laughs> I, I wonder if they get in their car ever and they're like, oh, you know, I just wanted a nice quiet drive. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh. The goal isn't split, that's the actual size of it. Oh, we're going in. Oh, we're going in deep. And that's it. Job done. One final shot. It got really hot out here. My legs are sweaty, which is obviously something you wanted to know. Now, I can't do this for long, but I did ask and I did get permission to do this. Also, why did they make the laces so long on these predators? I actually haven't kicked a ball outdoors in these yet. This will be my first time. Oh, tight. Tighter than a toyger. Quick touch. Oh my gosh, they feel so much tighter on foot. I think I've also done them up too tight. Freshly painted field. Oh dear. Not off to a good start. Oh, not on the line. Here's the interesting thing. I had no idea what goes into looking after a field like this. But today I have a newfound respect for all the work that gets done. Oh, Oliver, you're just glazing. No, it's a respect thing. I know it's a thumb. <laughs> yeah, just, ideally just the thumb, but if you get everywhere else, that's not too bad. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Perfect. That'll do. Thank you. Certified green thumb. Stupid. I know it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh.